we're going to um, work on something called stretch out the good part. And this is a writing technique. We've been learning a lot of different writing techniques. And this is a writing technique that will help you when you're writing your stories. Um, so let's see. To begin to illustrate this, let me get a couple of people up here. Christina and Ariel are, are uh, astronauts. You might not have known that. And then, um, let's see. Uh, Alessandro and Nyan, they are aliens. <laughs> All right, come up here, Nyan. All right, so here's the scene of my story. So I'm writing my story, and these guys are going to kind of act this out, and we're going to show one part now, and then we're going to show another part later. So, um, okay, so it's, a sto it's my story, and this story is called A Visit to Pluto. It's a very exciting story. And Christina, the astronaut, and Ariel, the astronaut, just arrived on Pluto. And oh my gosh, Nyan, the alien, and Alessandra, the alien, come out. And wait a minute. I'm going to describe my scene. Christina and Ariel wave to the alien, say hi. Hi. And the aliens wave back. And um, so then, then the next part of the story, um, the astronauts go off and explore some craters. Okay, stop. All right, good, stop. Everybody stop for a second. All right, so I want you to think about something was kind of missing from that really important... Something was missing from that really important part of my story. I want you to turn and talk with a partner. What was missing from that important part of my story? Turn and talk. Angela, do you have a partner? All right, coming back in three, two, one. Thank you. Anyone want to tell me, like, what was missing from that really important part of my story? Tyler. Detail and description. Detail and description. Well said. Anyone want to add on to that? Ariel? Uh, you actually need an alien. I'm going to say hi to them and I go off. You actually see an alien from the alien. You'll be like, what the heck is that? Because you've mm -hmm. never seen an alien before. Good. Nyan? Mm-hmm. So that's what that part was. Oh, oh, you've anticipated what I'm going to talk about. Yeah, it was like, first of all, it was super short. Like Ariel said, they just said hi and moved on. And like Tyler said, there were there was no like detail or description. That's a really important part of my story. That's a good part. Okay? Because that's the big scene of my story where the aliens meet the astronauts. So I don't want to just write like two lines about it and move on to the next part where they go explore the craters. I want to, what they call, stretch it out. I want to stretch it out using details and dialogue. So let's talk about that a little bit. So stretching out the good part. So today we're going to use a special technique to improve our stories. It's called stretching out the good part. How does it work? Let's take a look at an example, and then we'll go back to our space example in a second. We'll get our actors back on it. So, um, here's an important scene from a story about a dog who becomes a high school quarterback. <laughs> a little story I wrote. Um, so in this scene of my story, the dog, whose name is Rover, throws an important touchdown, and here's the scene. So, Rover dropped back to pass. He threw a long pass to his wide receiver, and it was caught in the end zone for the winning touchdown, oh, I see a thumbs down, all right. So it tells what happened, but it's not very well stretched. That's to say, it's very short. It doesn't tell much about what happened. After all, this is a crucial scene. It's one of the most important in the entire story. Just like when you're writing your story today, you're gonna come up upon some like really important scenes, some really good parts. It should have lots of exciting detail about what happened. So here's the same scene. I tried it again, okay? This time it's a little better stretched out, I think. So Rover dropped back to pass. The Ravens blitzed all their best pass rushers. 
But Rover rolled to his left and found a clear passing lane down the field. He cocked his arm and threw a long, high spiral hurtling towards Jerry Rice, who was sprinting headlong towards the Ravens' end zone. Just as Rice broke away from his defender, the ball arrived, hitting his outstretched fingers. As the clock struck zero, Rice hauled in the ball and tucked it under his left arm and ran to the goal line. The Ravens defender dived for his ankle, and Rice fell forward, stretching over the line for a touchdown. The Niners fans went berserk. The players lifted Rover to their shoulders. A small farm dog had become the hero of the Super Bowl. So turn and talk. What did you think was better about that second scene? All right, Jason is dying to tell us. Everybody back, please. All right, but can you answer my question first? So, um, what did you think was better about the second scene? There's more detail mm -hmm. and like... More detail. There's, you stretched it out more by making it way longer and everything. It's longer, it has more detail, more adjectives, more description. It's better stretched out. I actually forgot dialogue. Maybe when Jerry Rice caught the ball, he could have been like, great throw or over or something like that. Like, what was your comment? The story is a little weird. It is a little weird. <laughs> because, because the dog should be... Joe Montana instead of Oh, you know your Niners history, yeah. So the second scene was a little longer and a little better. No, the scene is really well stressed. We feel like we're there in the game, too. As it turns out, you can write two sentences about Rover's touchdown throw, or you could write eight or ten or 20? even more, maybe. But how do you stretch? That's what we're going to talk about next. How do you stretch a scene? Because it's one thing to say, yeah, I'm going to stretch a scene, but it's another to know how to do it. So one good way is to ask questions about a scene. So let's go back to that first try. So here are some questions like, Rover dropped back to pass. Well, did he get away from the pass rush, the defenders who were coming after him? He threw a long pass to his right receiver. But what was the pass like? Who was his receiver the first time? I didn't even say who it was. It was caught in the end zone for the winning touchdown. Who was defending? What's the name of Rover's team? I didn't say that the first time. How did the fans react? I didn't say that either. If you're trying to stretch a scene, oh, it's really important. Anushka, are you with me? If you're trying to stretch a scene, ask questions. Try to see what else could be described in the scene. If we answered all those questions, we could probably write two pages just on this one scene. So today we're going to practice stretching out a scene. Oh, we're going to practice that alien scene, actually. Oh, and also don't forget our earlier part about um, dialogue. Having the characters speak can also help stretch out a scene. All right, so let's do some stretching. So uh, aliens back up there and astronauts back up here. Okay. All right, now audience. You can be helpful here. What questions, I don't know where aliens is tying his shoe. Right. So what questions, what questions, as a reader, pretend you're reading my story now, what questions would you want to know, Marcy, about the astronauts? What things would you want to know about the aliens? What questions do you have about this scene that could be answered? Just one hand? Really? You're not a very inquisitive audience. Two hands, that's a little better. What do we want to know about this scene? Oh good, an alien has an idea. <laughs> yeah, Matea. Yeah, what do they look like? We want to describe our astronaut wearing a pink shirt and red pants and our astronaut wearing a squad goals t-shirt or however we want to describe them. Good, anything else we want to know? Evelyn. Say again. Yeah, how did the aliens look? Good. What else? Gary? What astronauts felt like 
Yeah, what did it feel like to land on Pluto? That would be really interesting to know. No astronauts actually ever landed there in real life, so we'd want to know that. Marcy? Maybe like a little bit more, like the aliens did, like instead of just telling them that the aliens said hi, they'd be like, they stared at us for a little while, and then they turned away and walked. Yeah, like what happened next? Like instead of just having them go off to the next scene, we want to stay on, ooh, this is really important. Instead of just moving along to the next scene, we want to stay on this scene for a little while and just describe this one scene like Marcy's saying before we go off and talk about the next thing, Jason. Like where in Pluto? Because they might be really far away from their space, spacecraft. Yeah, like where in Pluto did they land? And actually you just mentioned another thing. What about their spaceship? I didn't describe that at all. Alien? Did the spaceship crash? <laughs> did the spaceship crash or did they land nicely? Like, who are the aliens? Who are the aliens? Do they have names or like what do they do? Like how do they act? Mm -hmm. We have a lot of good questions out. Andrew. Did the, did the astronauts do something about space debris? Like did they like actually like mm -hmm. what did they do? Like what did they do now? There's one more thing I was thinking of that I haven't heard mentioned and it actually has to do with a lesson that we had last week. Something we learned about. Nine. Dialogue. Dialogue. Perfect, Nyan. Like, what did they say to each other when they met? Well, maybe they couldn't speak to each other because they might speak different languages. But, yeah, maybe something. Good. Thank you so much, volunteers. I know you didn't really get to act that much, but that was important to see you up here. So, let me show you a few questions I had, and let's see if any of these match the questions you have. So, I had, oh, everybody looking up here? Seeing crisscross speeds? Thank you, sir. Red Sox fan? <laughs> All right, so, what did aliens look like? We said that one. How did the aliens sound? I think someone said, I think Andrew might have mentioned that. How did the astronauts react to the aliens? That was mentioned. What was the alien spaceship like? That was, Jason mentioned that. Were the aliens friendly or mean? I don't think we said that one. Um, the names of the astronauts. Did the aliens have names? What planet were they on? I kind of told you that one. So, a lot of interesting questions to answer. So, here's what, oh, and also this. Are right you here? Are you going to read that? Don't forget dialogue. So, now I have a challenge for you in your writing journal. I'm going to ask you to write this scene and stretch it really well. In fact, I want to see you stretch it so well that you write maybe a quarter of a, maybe even half a page. Just on this one scene, before you move on to any other scenes, we want to stick with this one scene and stretch it out using dialogue, using descriptions, answering some of these important questions that we had. Yes, sir. Um, like right after we finish it, can we go back to the story? Because like, if you want to worry about little, time, all the time, I hear what you're saying. We will do that, Gary. I'll always do the same thing to this as the um the like the castle. Like, it's a little bit like that. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm yes, sir. Can you first? Can you put down the board? Like, can you, like, leave it Can I there? leave this up there? Yeah. Because you want to see those questions? Yeah. Good idea. I'll do that. Mm -hmm. Wait, what, wait, do we write, like, like, or do we write You write this one scene that we were about to act out where the aliens meet the astronauts. Yeah, so you write the aliens, um, like, the astronauts. Yep, you're going to pick it up right there. Exactly. All right. If you would... Find your writing journal and get to work. Can you do it with a partner? This is an individual activity. Um, not really All right, let's use that for a good start. Thank <laughs> you.
What should we name the Did you not talk to the Children's Hospital? People are not talking. It's like, let me just call it. Let's go without a name. Tyler got right to work. Nice job, Tyler. Beautiful. Too. You want a mix of descriptions and dialogue. It landed as dust flew everywhere. Good start, Gary. Wow, look how much people wrote. Beautiful. Good stretching. Let me see. Wow. Stretch that whole scene. Good job, Gary. Good dialogue. Oh, I remember that. You back to your story? Oh, did. Where's your, um, where's your stretch part? Does it sit here? Yep. Nice job. <laughs> This is the stretch part here. Very nice. Nice work, Christina. This is going to our parents. Almost time. You stretch out the seam. Mm -hmm. 